And good morning everyone! Happy Friday po sa inyo! Ah, uh, last daily grind for the week! And it's gonna be a weekend again. Uh, I'll be out of uh, the town uh, over the weekend. Punta na Mindanao for the Mangihista.org. But anyways, market has been so far so good. But our picks somehow are going up. Si Tugs kahapon, lumipad na. So congratulations sa mga pumasok kay Tugs. Enjoy your earnings. Ang lahat na nakikita ninyo dahil kay Tugs. Uh, TBGI also moved yesterday. I've been recommending TBGI the past few days. So congratulations then doon. So much um so many ano, so many stocks going up. Uh hindi nga lang nagliliparan but still that's okay as long as it's going our way. PPG and taas na um we what to call this we uh, we talked about that um the past few ano the past few days we were able to catch the bottom of PPG. So congratulations to you guys. Yan so Ang dami, ang dami mga ganda positions na lumipad na. And so far, so good. The strategy has been working. There are some that did not work well. But as long as you cut your losses, that should be good. Um, I'm teaching you how to be position traders. And this is, ayan, yung daily grind natin. This is the position trading strategies that I actually apply. And hopefully, you've been applying it. And... Um, hopefully you're already winning. Hopefully you're learning. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to. I have a few picks for today. I don't think it's, today's gonna be a long episode since um picks lang naman ang meron ako ngayon. Uh, got busy last night, so I wasn't really able to um to study, research, and also sa international market hindi ako ganong um nakapag-aral, so wala akong newsletter for today. But over the weekend, most probably will do. Right. So if you haven't um registered to my free newsletter yet. I hope you have already. If not yet, andyan po sa video description. My free newsletter po dyan. Please register to that. Um, Everything I learn, everything I research, I put it on a newsletter and I send it to everyone who has registered. So I hope you've registered already. Okay? So, and um, let's go. Let's start. Uh, let me just go to the comments really quick. Wing Gloria, good morning. Bull and Bear, good day. Coach, akala ko wala. Meron po, uh, as much as possible kung kaya natin. <laughs> and uh, Jolly Gars, morning Sir Lloyd and like, we just decided to go to Mindanao over the weekend na lang kasi sayang yung daily grind then So today, we should be, um, we will be going to Mindanao. Ronald Ray Tome, good morning Sir Lloyd, paincets MRSGI and ABA. Let me share my screen really quick. MRSGI and ABA, MRSGI. Okay, so MRSGI, hmm, hmm. They're looking good, right? Oh, how come I didn't see this? Didn't I see this? Yeah, it's not in my picks for today. Yeah, but I guess this is okay already for MSGI. I think it's okay. Um, I can add up MSGI if I can add it to the picks. MSGI. How come I didn't see this? That's a watch list. Got to see MSGI. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um. I'm recommending MRSGI also for today. Good pick, Ronald, getting better. Right, uh, that's a good company. Maganda naman yung takbo ng company lately. And price action wise, um, we have a divergence right here. Why am I recommending this for today? We have a support sideways here. That's a bullish signal. Overall, it's still a bullish signal. Market pa rin yung RSI niyan. So that's those are still bullish signals, divergence RSI. That's one of my favorite technical analysis that I use, especially in picking up bottoms um so yeah um dito nag fail lang ang support pero hindi naman kalakihan ng fail ng support from this end to that end around uh, 2. Uh, 2% lang hindi pa umabot ng 3% so that's tolerable and that's a bounce at the support area so that's still good to go um so mga hindi pa naka testing sa MRSGI yes it's a, it's one of the best uh time to uh, what they call this to test it now Okay, ganda na ng price action. That, that area is already sustaining for MRSGI. So, that's good. Si ABBA naman, kamustahin natin si ABBA after this long climb. Um, hindi gaanong definite yung pullback niya. So, it's really hard for us to determine an entry point here. I would say, if gusto nyo talagang pumasok sa kanya, let it sustain a breakout from this sideways resistance. This is a strong resistance right here. Um, one, two, three, four. That's already hit four times. Pag nag-breakout yan at nag-sustain, pwede nyo pong pasukin. I would say yes 
if mag-sustain yung breakout niya. So hopefully it does. If it does, then that's our next entry point. Remember, we recommended ABBA here. We were able to get that. So yeah, well, very good uh, very good win for us. Uh, yeah. uh, here and here. Ayan. Um, next kay ABBA, Mark Benson Ong, ISM Po Morning. Yan, sabi ko. Alright, I want to talk about this. Reason I don't want to recommend stocks up here. Kasi may ipit lang kayo kung maghahabol kayo. Marami na namang kahapon naghabol kay ISM dito sa taas. Look at the volume. Laki ng volume na kahapon. And you know what will happen if maghahabol kayo dyan sa taas. Please, I hope you've er, er, uh, learned your lesson. We're playing at resistance levels right there. <clears throat> so kung maghahabol kayo dyan, expect to be uh, an investor. These are investors' entries. That's not a trader's entry. I've been teaching you that most of the time. Ayan, ang dami naghabol sa taas. Binentahan lang kayo sa mga nakabodega dito sa baba. <laughs> si Oscar Romago, shout out kay Oscar Romago. has been very vocal in the, ano, in the what they call this, in the, in the billionaire's club. Ayan, sabi niya, magbe, magbe, magbebenta na ako sa 6.9. Nagbenta siya sa 6.9. And then, amazingly, may bumibili pa doon sa taas na yan. Ha, sadly, meron pa rin talagang mga na nagpapaipit. These are investor entries, guys. Please, kung ayon yung mga investor big life, you really wanna trade it, um, enter properly. Wag yung habang lumilipad hinahabul po ninyo na yan nagkaipitan tuloy. So I hope wala sa inyo na ipit, right? I recommend ISM at the right spot. That's the reason why I don't recommend it up there. Okay? Magkakaipitan yan. At nangyari nga. So I hope wala po sa inyo na ipit at nainggit. Okay? Um, ISM still good for me. I will. This is a healthy pullback for ISM. We're waiting for a bounce anytime soon, but for now, um, wala pa. So ingat lang muna kay ISM. You don't. Please do not enter that right now. Antay tayo ng bounce before we wanna get in. Neil Kasokot, good morning, sir. Good morning, then. Travahador, good morning, sir Lloyd and everyone. Good morning, then. Um. Duming bukid. <laughs> Alright, so guys, I hope you were able to sell your ISM yesterday sa mga naniwala sa akin at mga nagbodega. Congratulations po. I hope nakapagbenta kayo kahapon when you saw the weakness at the resistance. Okay? Um, congratulations po. Um, uh, Noel Taranco, good morning coach. Pasuyo po ng Alco. Kamustayin natin si Alco. Uh, Primex is in one of my recommendations today, Cyro. So we'll talk, we'll check that out. Um, si Alco so far, um, medyo bearish yung movement niya. It's a mix of bearish and bullish move kasi. Eh. So it's really indefinite right now. So sideways lang po talaga ang trend niya. Um, we'll see if we can get a bounce at the support. That should be a good entry point. But for now, wala pa tayong bounce. So hindi ko pa masabi if it's good to enter already. Uh, Ron Benolirao, good morning sir. God bless. Good morning to you too. Wing Gloria, sarap pakinggan ng background music mo sir. Parang everyday green. <laughs> Tapat ganyan, di ba? Because we're applying the right strategies. Hopefully green na po yung mga ports ninyo, right? This is, if you just, I believe if you just followed the strategies, nag-green na yung mga port ninyo, okay? Cirilo Baha, good morning. Maria, Cristina, Nicoleta, sumabay ata si Tugo, Kinasi at ISM. Yes, Tugo was, did move yesterday, um, pero pababa, <laughs> diba? Uh, medyo mabigat yung bagsak ni Tugo yesterday. Um, I don't know what happened to Tugo, siguro yung mga investors... Um, investors na inip na at nagkabentahan, right? So, we'll see what will happen kay Tugo in the future. Si Tugo is, will be under CLC. So, hopefully, mahila ni CLC and pataas. But for now, these are things that we cannot predict. So, kasi kahapon, umakyat siya, right? It, was, it had a very good move at that, uh, at that uh, climb yesterday. Amazing move at the climb yesterday. And then, yung mga nainip na mga nag-investor, siguro nakalaya na nagbentahan. <laughs> And then, mas marami yung nagbenta kaysa, nag, ano, kaysa mga nagbili. So, that's what happened with Tugo. <clears throat> The good news is RSI is already at a very beautiful stage. But, um, let's see if it will stabilize. If it, if it will stabilize, I'll be buying Tugo right? habang mura po yan. Um, antay lang ako ng stabilization before we wanna talk about it. Nakisabay nga eh. Lumipad, tas bumagsak eh. 
And Ben Moneda, good morning. Sir Lloyd, good morning. Then Raclin Viernes, good morning. Insights po kay Or, are you still holding on? So far, so good. Um, in-hold ko pa si Or ko. Um, anyways, konti lang naman yung nabili ko. Uh, I did uh, buy it at around, where was that level? Hindi ko maalala. But I did average down at this area. So, I'm, it's near my average actually. So, Okay pa siya for me but so and so far so good on oh, yung ano niya yung price action niya paakyat naman so I'm still holding on to it. Uh, maganda naman yung development ng company na Or. So uh, yeah, ang plano ko kasi kay Or noon was really for mid to long term kasama yan nila PHA sila CPG. Uh, ni recommend ko SSI, uh, ATN and nagliliparan na si Or na lang ang natira actually sa mga um, mid to long term picks ko na hindi lumilipad. And I'm still holding on to it hindi naman masyado malaking uh, pera. But yes, uh, it's it's looking good rela- lately. Angel Chan, morning sir. Good morning then Russell Domdom. Hi sir. Morning po. Cyber po. Kaya tataas pa po ba? I'm not really sure. We don't know what the cost of the climb for cyber is. Uh, CYBR. CBRN. Not really, don't really know the cost of the climb for cyber. Um, quarterly report. La- last news niya, 30 days ago eh. So, nagka... I don't know. Um, don't know what happened with cyber. If tataas pa po ba yan, maybe. Maybe hindi. No one can predict the market. Again, I want to reiterate this to you guys. No one can predict the market. We as traders, we enter because there's good potential of the stock and it's low risk. Yan po ang position trader rule. Right? So, is there good, uh, good potential here? Yes, maybe because there's strong momentum and low risk. Is it low risk? It's not low risk anymore. Okay? Ang ganda ng support nito eh. Nila natin, nila natin napapanood yan. Um, cyber's not in my watch list kasi. Um, is there position here? That's the next question you want to ask yourself. And if wala pong position dyan, huwag nyo pong hahabulin. Okay? Um, if you were able to enter cyber already yesterday at the early stage, congratulations. If makita nyo pong weakness, actually dapat dito, weakness na yun, eh, pag-sell half na kayo dyan. But if magtuloy-tuloy ang weakness niya, yung pagbalik niya, sell half already of your position, okay? If ever nakapasok kayo. Red Cup 21, good morning coach. Insights for Wilcon, please. Let's check out Wilcon. And si Wilcon, and after hitting the uh, the resistance, and there was a question yesterday, how will you know if a support or resistance is strong, right? If it's hit at least three times, that's already a very strong resistance. It, this resistance is hit once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ilang beses po yan na hit na resistance yan. So that was a very strong resistance right there. And nagfi-fail na when hitting that resistance. So Wilcon is... Um, uh, hindi pa nagtuloy yung breakout niya so it's not it's not easy to say it's a buy for Wilcon I don't think it is baka bumulusok yan eh. hindi pa natin alam let's see in the future if we get us if it gives us good price action like this one again and we'll test the so resistance in the future but for now masyado mataas po yan I don't really want to recommend these kinds of positions when it's already up there right Ben Moneda sir may I ask your insights on IDC and X right si IDC naman uh, re- recommended IDC the past few days, di ba? Dito at this level. And lumilipad na siya. Um, IDC, napupull back pa. Let's wait for the bounce of IDC before we can say it's an entry point uh, for IDC. There was a previous resistance at this area. Most probably, this will be the next support. So, naabangan natin yung bounce ni IDC dyan. If it bounces, then that will be our entry point. But for now, wala pa. I can't recommend it yet. Too aggressive if uunahan, pangungunahan natin na. Baka mag-bounce yan today, right? Ah, eto si X, nag, nag-pullback. Good volume on both the climb and the pullback. So, abang lang tayo ng bounce. If mag-bounce yan, then that will be a good signal for X to enter. At least meron na tayong support confirmed from that position. For now, wala pa pong bounce. Abangan na natin. Let's see what will happen. And let's see on Monday if we can enter X. Baka mag-bounce yan today and magtuloy-tuloy. Tignan nyo na rin if ever gusto nyo talagang pumasok kay X. At the very least, pag nag-bounce yan, you have a good support. Okay? Uh, you have a good support which is very low risk. 
just to be clear. Angel Chan, Sir PLC po, anong tingin ninyo? Um, PLC, tingnan natin si PLC. Alright, so, yeah, we talked about PLC yesterday. Told you guys, okay na yung bounce niya. Baka, mag, oh, baka okay. Um, ito na yung pullback niya, eh, di ba? So, now, again, guys, this is not a breakout. Okay? Hindi po breakout yan. The resistance here is not sideways. It's upwards. This stock is on an uptrend. Pataas po yan. Right. Now, if you will look at the trend, tanggal, tanggalin ko lang si Bollinger Band, where, where are we positioned right now? See? Nauhulaan natin yung galaw. So, we're, we're at the resistance right now. Okay? That's not good. We are expecting a next pullback and then next bounce for PLC. Right? Next pullback, that will be our entry point sa bounce niya. Huwag po dyan sa taas, maipit po kayo sa pullback. Pag naipit kayo sa pullback, patay tayo dyan. Bakit? Yes, we do have a support right here. But, we there, uh, again, the support is not a guarantee na bababounce yan dyan. What if tapos na yung trend niya at magbulusok na? Diba? Patay tayo. Don't get in this right now. Antayin nyo yung next pullback niya. Huwag kayong magpapa loko sa resistance niya na sideways. Hindi po sideways sa resistance niyan. That is on an uptrend. Right, this is one of the re, re, uh, one of the lessons I teach in the seminar. Uh, I hope you join the seminar. Right, ano rami po kayo matutunan jan. Ingat po sa ganito movement. We've been talking about this the past few days about these kinds of movement. Iwasan niyo po ang resistance breakout na yan. Um, this is a good example right here. People thought this was a breakout. No, okay, the stock is a on a sideways trend. I mean, on a on an uptrend. So, magpo-pullback po yan. Nag-pullback po siya. Gumawa lang ng support for here. That will be a good entry point. And then, there it is. Sumakit na naman. Anytime soon, that will do a pullback. Huwag po kayo magpapaipit tulad ni ISM. Yung nangyari kay ISM. Similar, the stock is on an uptrend. Yung resistance niya pataas. Huwag po kayo magpapaipit. Hindi po breakouts yan. Right? That, those are resistance levels. Okay? Um, PLC, ingat lang. Wait for the pullback bago nyo pas bago nyo pasukin. Joffrey Jr. Alob, good morning Sir Lloyd. Nagtan out dari sa Oman. Good morning Joffrey. Good morning sa inyo dyan sa Oman. Napakaaga pa dyan sa Oman. Mabuhay po kayo. Uh, around 4, I think it's 4 a.m. there. And um, gising na kayo for the program. So amazing. Good morning po. Uh, GB, good morning Sir Lloyd. Happy Father's Day in advance. At sa lahat ng daddy, lalong lalo na sa superhero ng buhay namin, namin ng anak ko. Profit taking today, kaya nakaabang ako sa pullbacks. <laughs> Alright, nauna ng, na, nauna ng profit taking kay ISM. So, on your stocks na nagliliparan na, if you see weakness, please take your profits. Okay? Sayang yung panahon if hindi nyo itatake yung profits. If already it's hitting your resistances, it's showing weaknesses, and the uh, the gain is substantial already. So, um, sell sell half of it at the very least. Geoffrey Alob, siling ano ta sa Mindanao, Osamis ka, depolog ko. Um, via Osamis usually, um, do, uh, andun kami sa Oroqueta City. Uh, I mean, next to Oroqueta City is Lopezaina. It's not a city. But yeah, malapit lang tayo. Mas masalapit sa Dipolog. Ma ma silingan na di Aita. Marco Barin, good, happy Friday. Good morning, Coach. Jerry LHC. Taas ng code nitong Pope LHC. Hirap sabihin eh. Um, Jerry, uh, this is something that we need to look at. It's forming a bearish uh, signal right there. It's a mix of bearish and bullish um, signal actually, right? So, if you look at this on your cheat sheets, the best entry point will be a breakout. So, kung mag nag-breakout yan sa resistance na yan, that will be the best entry point for Jerry. So, abangan nyo lang po ang breakout dyan. If ever hindi po yan mag-breakout, huwag po natin papasukin. Ganun lang yan, yung formation niya. LHC, let's go for LHC. Alright, si LHC, we recommended it yesterday. And umaakit na, <laughs> not anymore. I don't want to recommend it anymore kasi man taas na yung risk. Okay, yesterday was the best entry point for LHC. So hopefully nakapasok kayo. Recommended that yesterday. Wealth Gainer, good morning coach. Good morning then. Alex Managan, Sir, Lo Sir Lloyd. Ah, sit na lang, bumagsak bigla yung comments. Sir Lloyd, uh, good morning and hi to your daughter Laika. In uh, insights po kay ATN and DNL. Uh, ATN, I recommended that yesterday. I uh, told you it's my favorite recommendation yesterday and look at the volume spike yesterday. Amazing. So, hopefully nakapasok po kayo kahapon. 
I don't want to recommend it anymore because you're far away from support already. Okay? Abang na lang tayo sa next na pullback. Hindi niyo po yung pinasok kahapon. I told you yesterday, this was my favorite, uh, this was my favorite, uh, what do you call this, uh, recommendation. And mangat na siya. I told you. Ganda ng mga signals noon. Ilang, ilang signals ang nangyari kay ATN. That's why it was my favorite. And there it is. Volume starting to pick up. And lumi- lumilipad na. Investors, yes, I'd say it's still good to enter. But traders, no, we have a possible resistance here. Malapit na po tayo sa resistance. Not worth it na ang risk. Okay? Um, if you wanna watch, re-watch the video yesterday, if hindi nyo po napanood, um, check it out. Uh, I explained to you why this was a good pick yesterday. And lumilipad na po siya. I cannot pick, uh, I cannot ref- uh, I cannot recommend it anymore. <clears throat> um, guys, nga pala, um, Please share the video. Yan po. Um, little request from my end. Please share the video para naman po yung mga kaibigan nyo, uh, they'll, uh, this will spark their curiosity when it comes to investing. Sabi nila, uy, ang kaibigan ko nag investing sa stocks. Ah. Ano kaya ito? How is he doing? Diba? So at least the curiosity will spark. It's, uh, it starts from there. And to your trading groups, if you have any trading groups, kindly share the video po for please uh, para po ang mga newbies sa groups na yon magabayan po natin hindi yung mga pumapasok kay ISM kahapon kasi na na hype or na FOMO eh nagkaipitan tuloy right magaidan natin sila um and then subscribe to my channel subscribe po sa channel ko uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe please click on that subscribe button <clears throat> and uh let's continue Joe and uh Joe and R Aguilar good morning <clears throat> Euclid Orbeso, good morning Sir Lloyd, Wilcon and URC po, we already talked about Wilcon. Um, Ellen is asking about GFC, uh, GFC recommended that the past few days, medyo mataas na si GFC, so congratulations sa mga pumasok, we'll check that out later. Unahin natin si uh, URC, uh, recommended URC on this bounce right here, and tuloy-tuloy na yung akyat niya, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay URC. I cannot recommend it anymore kasi nata- nasa taas na po tayo. Uh, it might go up, uh, it might go down, I don't really know. Uh, it might, pero mas konti na lang ang momentum niya. So, most probably, ma- magbubelo na naman yan. It will stabilize anytime soon. That's why I don't want to recommend it yet. Um, it's already too high. We recommended URC here. These are the best entry points. At least sinasabi ko sa inyo, lagi always wait for the pullback. If hindi kayo bigyan ng pullback tulad nito, yung iba pinipilit sa taas, sabi ko sa inyo, antay lang ng pullback, it will happen to a stock. If ever hindi kayo bigyan ng pullback, then let it go. Marami pa pong ibang position dyan. Here, hindi pa po tayo binibigyan ng mga laking pullback, so let it go for now. Okay? Uh, URC, uh, leave it there for now. CPG from Jonar Aguilar, also CPG. So CPG um, bouncing at the May 20. So this might be good, right, for CPG. Yeah, I think it is. Um, pero para nagpapahinga na si CPG. I'm, I'm shaky about it, but I think it's still gonna go up. This is gonna be, this is still gonna be good for CPG. Ito lang problema ko eh. Nag-hit na siya to ng MA, ng MA20 eh. Pero bumubuelo siya. It's consolidating at that level. Tat, apat na doji ang nakikita natin. So, we don't really know where this is going. If you still wanna test it out, I think it's still gonna go up. The company's doing well lately. So, I think it's still gonna go up. And it's on a strong uptrend. So, yeah. The, the trend is your friend. Test it out. Just in case mali tayo. At the very least, we entered at a very low risk position. Try it at MA20. Baka tumuloy-tuloy, right? Um, if I wanna recommend it, hirap eh. Right? I wanna be, I wanna be transparent with you guys. And dito kasi ako sa baba. So, if ever it breaks that MA20, I'm gonna be selling. So, yun yung problema ko dito pag nasa taas na yung stock. Ayoko mabentahan kayo. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's momentum the past few days. Yeah, I'd say, Okay lang. As long as MA20 holds, if you really want to enter CPG, yes, use the MA20 as your entry point. Hirap na ako, mag, hirap na ako ngayon mag-recommend kay CPG kasi nasa taas na po si CPG. Kaya po, um, really hard for me. But the trend is your friend. Okay naman yung trend ni CPG. Uh, test it out. Just in case you're right, at least maganda yung position na yan. Right? Uh, if ever mali tayo, at least 
very low risk naman. Just do test buy. Maliit na pera lang. Okay? Um, ATN, SSI. Si SSI. Tapos natin kay ATN and LHC. Eh. Si SSI naman, um, there was this, uh, there is this uh, breakout and this is the support now for SSI. Uh, healthy naman yung volume niya. So yeah, there's a bounce at this breakout and nag-sustain yung breakout niya. I'd say yes, test it out as long as the support holds. 3.44 po yung support nyo. Uh, use that as your support. Pwede nyo pong pasukin yan for uh, SSI. Kasi nga lang, nasa taas na naman yan. I tell you guys, andun kami doon sa baba. Pumasok kay SSI. So baka magkabentahan dyan. Baka humina. It's a Friday. But yeah, as long as that support sustains, why not? Okay? JRT Serrano 1000 Boss Insight rewarding, Regarding Web Alright, si Web naman Papullback pa Lesser momentum now I don't wanna recommend it While it's doing that Antay-lantay ng pullback Let's see if it will go back to its trend line And dun tayo pumasok sa bounce niya Ngayon wala pa um, Cyrus Perez, good morning Sir Lloyd Primex po at ask ko lang po Okay po bang magbodega sa PHA? Yes, mid to long term po si PHA. Niabangan natin yung development nila. Anong, lang, anong gagawin nila sa pera nila? They have a, uh, they have very big money right now. 15 billion? Yes, 15 billion pesos. That's a lot. Ilang kumpanya ang pwede mong bilhin sa 15 billion at ilang projects ang pwede mong gawin sa 15 billion. Hindi ko alam kung paano nyo gagastahin yan kung may pera kayong 15 billion. That's how big it is. Laki na na nga na isang million. And then, imagine that. Isang million takes 1,000 million to make 1 billion times 15 mo pa. Ang laki ng pera na yan. Angel Chancer, paano mag-register sa newsletter ninyo? There is a link at the video description. Please click on it for the registration para makasali kay sa newsletter ko. I'm gonna be very busy this weekend so I don't think there will be an update uh, this weekend. But I'll do my best. If ever I see significant news na pwede kong i- uh, na kailangan i-share, I will be sharing it to you. The newsletter is for free, guys. Okay? So, hopefully, you do register. Um, Mark Lizaso. Good morning, sir. PHA. Kamusta natin si PHA? Let's, um, let's look at the chart ulit ni PHA. Okay, PHA. Uy, ayun, may bounce na kay PHA. Alright, this is the dip and this is the bounce we're looking for. Yeah, pwede nang pasukin si PHA. Actually, just keep buying the dips for PHA. Yan ang recommendation ko dyan. Habang mura pa po yan. Okay, MRLD, Hi Sir Lloyd, MBT, ATN, and PHA. PHA is okay. Bakit nag hey Siri ito? <laughs> si Siri biglang nagbalita na magsisimula na yung NBA. <laughs> Right, so manonood ako ngayon, later. So, tingnan na natin. Um, anyways, so sorry about that. PHA is a buy. Emerald, High Sir Lloyd, MBT, ATN. MBT, tingnan natin. Si Metro Bank, uh, let's wait for the bounces for Metro Bank before we wanna buy. Wala pa pong bounce ngayon, so wag muna. Uh, ATN and PHA, we talked about that already. Emily Goltz, um, good morning. Jeff Bernardo. Good morning, sir. What about DD? Si DD naglalaro sa taas eh. So, ang hirap sabihin. Um, it's hitting resistances right now. I don't want to recommend DD there. Right? Si DD. Alam best natin na recommend to dito, dito, dito. Um, I can't for, I can't remember the spots but I'm seeing so many entry points. Um, wag po dyan. Ang dami natin entry points sa baba. Doon tayo pumapasok. Uh, wag yung nahabang nasa taas si DD. Alright? Um, Christopher Litiatko, good morning Sir Lloyd, bell po, umakyat saglit, okay po va, po va, <laughs> po ba, right. si bell, umakyat siya, yes, very good, ang ganda na sana nito eh, ba? good price action, right now, again guys, we're position traders, I'm training you to be position traders, this is a missed opportunity, if hindi natin nasakyan itong nasa, Itong magandang price action na ito. This is a good price action for Bell. Uh, I don't know bakit hindi ko napansin yan. But yeah, I don't wanna recommend that as of the moment. Right? Hindi po pang position trader yung position na yan. Let's wait for the next pullback and bounce. That will be our entry point. For now, wala po. It can, it might go up. Pwede pa umakit yan. Um, pero depends on your plan. Do you know who you are? 
who you are as a trader. It's very important when my lesson sa seminar, you have to know who you are. Are you a position trader? Are you a momentum trader? That's my question. What kind of a trader are you? Chances are, if you're watching the program, hindi nyo pa alam yan. I'm training you to become, I'm teaching you to become position traders and learn to wait for your position. This is not a position we want to enter. So I don't want to recommend bell, okay? So ingat sa mga ganyan, wait for the pullback and bounce before we want to check out bell. Um, Yoni Pioca, good morning sir, Bloom please. Yan, si Bloom naman, nagpo-pullback pa, so wag muna. Siguro baka mag-bounce yan anytime soon. On the bounce na tayo pumasok kay Bloom, okay? Um, anyways, the stock is on a good trend already. Antay lang tayo ng bounce before we wanna enter Bloom. Tignan natin yan sa lunes kung pwede natin pasukin na. Mervin Manzana, good morning sir. First time sa live discussion nyo. Insights about green, thank you. Good morning Marvin Manzano. Alright, guys, this is the reason why I I'm asking you to please share the videos para naman po ang mga newbies tulad ni Marvin, um, malaman nila that there's a program like this, di ba? Marvin, good morning, welcome. Insights po about green, thank you. Let's check out green. Alright, so green, still bouncing at MA20, right? I'd say yes, there's good price action for the past two, two days, nagbabounce sa MA20. Okay na ito. If you see any green anytime soon, that will be a good entry point for green. Pasokin niyo po yan. Good job. Uh, naantay, lang, naantay ko lang talaga yung parang green na confirmation ni green before I want to recommend it. For now, wag po po muna. Remember, we recommended green here. So far, so good. Antay na lang tayo ng pullback ni green. I mean, ng bounce ni green before we want to enter it again. Just 1125 SMC, sir, please. Uh, SMC, kamustay natin. We talked about this yesterday. Market naman si SMC, right? We talked about this entry. Okay naman yun. Um, right now, we're, we have a possible resistance. I don't want to recommend SMC at doing this. Uh, it's a mix of downtrend and good price action. So, really shaky for SMC right now. I don't want to recommend it there. So, wag po muna si SMC. Joel Lilo, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika, MPI Sir, good pa po ba for long term? Yes, definitely. Ang ganda ng mga projects na MPI ngayon. Recommended MPI here, recommended it again here, recommended it again here. Yan po ang trading. See, look at the movement. Up, down, hindi breakout yan, magpo-pullback yan. Hindi po breakout yan, magpo-pullback po yan. Antayin natin yung pullback and then bounce before we want to enter again MPI. But definitely, still a good company to get into. We are on a good uptrend for MPI. Antay lang po tayo ng pullback and bounce for MPI. I'm gonna be recommending it again soon if may entry point tayo. But we don't have an entry point right now. Congratulations sa mga pumasok kay MPI every time I recommend, uh, every time I recommended it. Okay. Um, MPI, Jonar Aguilar, ABBA, ZHI, at Jerry. Uh, we talked about ABBA already, si ZHI. Tingnan natin. Um, di pa ako tapos sa picks ko nga pala. 8.50 na, so we'll go through my picks in a bit. Uh, ZHI, possible pullback pa ito. Let's see what will happen. We need more further price action for ZHI to know for sure. Um, I think tapos na naman yung downtrend niya. So, um... We'll see if it will um if it will construct a support at around that level. Why not here at around 0.3? Pag nag bounce yan, yeah, you can test it out. I'm not really fond with the fundamentals of ZHI, um, but price action wise, maganda yung pinapakita niya. So most probably yes, it will give us a good position in the future. I can't just recommend it today. Given you said the last episode, you are going to do long term. For ISM, uh, Captain Salt, how is speculation affects? Uh, how is speculation affects your judgment? Um, how does the speculation affect my judgment? It's mixed, eh? Yeah, if it depends on your real purpose of the stock. Um, <clears throat> I've been recommending ISM on the pullbacks also, but that's for position trading here in the daily grind, diba? Let's pull up ISM. Very good question. Right, how does the speculation affect my judgment? I've been solid with ISM since here. Right, this was the first time I recommended ISM at this level, diba? Lumipad na siya. I recommended it again on the dips. It did dip deeper, but I just told you guys to keep 
just keep buying the dips and it, everyone was rewarded. Um, what is um, fueling my judgment? The speculation is, right? Um, with the speculation kasi, marami speculations, di ba? On a company, ganito, ganyan, si Jollibee, bibili na ganito, ganyan, di ba? Um, like, other companies have speculation also. Now, what part of the speculation makes me uh, commit to the stock, especially ISM? This is a very good question. Number one, the speculation of the third telco before caused this cl- caused the climb, di ba? Speculation pa lang yun na magiging third telco sila. It created a very big climb because it's a very big project. Now, it's not a speculation anymore. They are the third telco and that's a big project. And because it's a big project, it adds up to my judgment on holding ISM now. Diba? Di tulad noon na speculative lang yung pinahanghawa ka natin. Right now, they're already the third telco. So, that adds up to the speculation, uh, to the judgment that I have to hold ISM. Number two, it's a third tel- it's a ter- it's a third telco project which is very big. Right? Now, ang susunod natin challenge dyan is, are they gonna be successful? Are they gonna be successful? That's the biggest speculation. I think they will be. Number one, because hindi po sila baguhan. They have a very strong partner, one of the best telcos in the world. If you that have that as a partner, if you still fail as a company, then sobrang failure nyo na. I don't think that will happen. You have a partner who is one of the best operators in the world. So, that's uh, that's my second speculative judgment. Right? I don't think they're gonna fail. Though wala pa tayong numbers, it's still speculation. But having a partner who's already successful and can give you so much in the industry and is giving you so much money, <laughs> diba? Um, I don't think the third telco is going to be failing. That's why it adds up to my judgment to hold it in the future. Ano pa ba? Number three, to make it successful, it needs to have money, right? It needs to have enough money. Magkakaroon ba sila ng enough funds for that? China Tel just gave IS Udena 250 billion dollars dollars sobrang laki ng pera na yan right what else ano pang excuse gagawin ng isang company they're given everything they have guidance and everything for them to fail diba? and number 4 siguro the biggest uh, the biggest what they call this the biggest factor to make it successful is Consumer and competition, di ba? And consumer competition market right now is really waiting for it. Hindi naman ngayon na pumasok sila sa market na okay na si PLDT. Uy, mura na at mabilis si PLDT. Hindi. Mahal pa rin. Globe and si Globe, mura and mabilis ba? Hindi. If they enter with super speed internet and very cheap, I don't think competition is gonna be. Uh, I don't think competition is gonna, gonna gonna matter, right? And then once they operate, the next factor will be consistency in their services. Again, this company is not a joke. China Tel is not a joke company when it comes to telco. So I think consistency uh, on their uh, on their services will be okay. Those are the speculations that I have, but I have I have good reasons to believe in the project, and it's backed up by the government. So. That's what affects my judgment for ISM. That's why I've been very solid in my uh, in my stand in ISM. Okay? Um, you can write those speculations habang umaakit yung stock na yan. Pwede nyo pong pasak yan. You don't have to go long term but the stock is bullish right now because of these things. So, pwede nyo pong sakyan. Up to you. But right now, I am into ISM for long term. Nakapagchupit na po ako dyan. So, para po mawala yung greed ko, chumuchupit po ako sa ISM. But somehow, I'm still holding on for long term on majority of my stocks. Pampawala sa greed ko. Say so whenever you see the gains, magiging greedy ka. But then again, you have to stick to your purpose, what your purpose is in getting into the stock. Okay? Um, that is to answer Captain's, Captain, Salt, uh, Captain Salt's question, Zenaida Karunungan, Sir Katlos na po ba kay DNL? Bought at 10.30, uh, DNL dividend niya po. Uh, dividend po niya, ex-date noong June 21. 
I won't say it's a cut loss because nasa support po tayo. This is the support right here. Okay, that's a good support right there. That's a very good support area right there. Ang recommendation ko for DNL is magbodega habang nandito pa yan sa 10 piso. Even if it goes to 9 pesos, that's the cheapest, cheapest it has been. And this company is been doing well, right? Hindi naman masama ang performance ng company. The company is doing well. I'd say just keep buying more. I don't want to recommend um, cutting losses for DNL. Okay? Um, look at the divergence also. Let me just remove this really quick. If bumaba pa yan, back down to this level right here. That's good divergence still overall. Magan malaking spike pa rin yan sa uh, RSI niya. That means this bottom still has momentum, better momentum than this one. Kung dito pa nga na hindi ka anong maganda yung RSI niya, nakalipad siya ng ganyan. What more here when it's showing us better momentum, di ba? For DNL, bodega lang po habang mura na po yan. Right? Yan yun po ang strategy for DNL. Just keep buying at that level and then benta nyo po sa taas for DNL. Uh, Benwa, good morning sir. ATN food po. Uh, ATN and food, those are my recommendations yesterday. So ATN, we talked about that. Lumipad na po yan. I don't want to recommend it anymore. Kahapon po yan, Benwa. Nirecommend ko po yan kahapon. Also, si food na recommend ko po yan kahapon. So, lumilipad na. I don't want to recommend it anymore. Kahapon po ang best entry sa kanila when I recommended them. Ang recommendation ko kahapon is food, LHC, Costco, IRC, FB, and ATN. So, yun po sana kahapon. Dapat natin pinasok yan. Naglilipadan na yun. Um, hindi pa lumilipad but it's already starting its mo, um, momentum. I don't want to recommend it anymore. Okay, Benoit, sayang. Sana napasok mo kahapon. Jake Light Trades, good morning, sir. Inverted Hammer, MBT. Bullish na po ba? Uh, MBT, yes, it's showing us good signals. Okay? Um, though, wala pang gaanong momentum eh. Ang hirap pa sabihin. But the support is strong. I'd say yes. It's, it's not yet bullish. Look at this right here. But there's a support right here. A good signal for bullish will be a breakout from that um, this triangle right here. Okay, this is a descending triangle. This is actually a bearish signal, but we are at a very solid support level. Um, gumaganda naman yung volume niya. I'd say wait for the breakout before we can say it's a bullish. Uh, it's already bullish. Risk traders, you can enter at the support should you want to enter MBT at the support. Okay, medyo magulo na yung chart. So, but then again, I want to show you the support. And you can see the support right there. Aggressive entry, the support right here on the bounce. Uh, conservative entries, so mga gusto ng confirmation, wait for the breakout from the triangle. Okay, that's for MBT. Jeff Bernardo, sir, DD po, nasa taas po si DD, wag niyo po muna pasukin yan. Okay, um, just 1125 SMC, sir. We talked about SMC already. Ellen Coronado, morning, sir. Good morning. Request insights po kay JFC, BPI. Thanks to JFC. Recommended that two days ago. I recommended it here. Recommended it here. I recommended it here. We are at the resistance, so it's not good to enter Jollibee right now. Okay. Antay na lang tayo. Even if mag-break out yan, I don't want to recommend it. Next pullback and bounce, for especially for blue chips. Wait lang tayo ng pullback and then bounce before we wanna enter for um, uh, for JFC. Okay? Wag po muna. Um, you can go aggressive and use a breakout strategy. Hopefully, maging support yung previous assistance. You can do that. But right now, it's not a good entry point for JFC. Okay, BPI. Si BPI naman still... I'd say bodega pa rin BPI. This is the cheapest it has been for how many years? Right? For how many months? It's the cheapest it has been. And this is a good company. Bodega nyo po yan. Kahit pa bumaba yan, just keep buying more. Right? Huwag, hindi, hindi kayo matatakot sa company na yan. That's a good company right there. Um, Johan, Johan Lupo Insights kay ISM Today. Um, still on a pullback. Wala pa tayong bounce. So we don't have any entry point. Elon Alberto, good morning, Sir Lloyd. C po, thanks. Same with C. Um, pumu nagpo-pullback pa yan. 
Antayin lang natin yung bounce before we wanna test it again. Alan Manag, Alan, Alex Managan, Sir Lloyd, shout out po sa aking office mate, Hearty. Good morning, Hearty. Good morning, Alex. Rhea, Sir, SMPH. SMPH. Si SMPH nagsa sideways. I don't want to recommend SMPH yet. Let's see if it will give us a dip, right? Ang problema ko kasi kay SMPH kung pasukin niyo po 'yan diyan, meron tayong resistance dito. So that's going to be a problem. Maybe it will if it will go back to support, that's a good dip. Then I'll buy more. Just keep buying more for SMPH. This is a long-term stock. I've been recommending SMPH here. I would say this is the best support. This is will be this will be the best entry point for SMPH. And abangan lang natin 'yan diyan si SMPH, okay? Rhea, that's for SMPH. Gio Peter, Sebastian, good morning, sir. CHIB and DD, CHIB. Daanan natin si DD. Mataas na po yan. Nadaanan na natin yan. So, I won't be discussing that anymore. There's a good spike in volume sa CHIB. This is good. This is something good for CHIB. Uh, we have, we do have a resistance though at this area. I think this is gonna do a breakout today. If it does and sustains that breakout, pasokin nyo po. Breakout strategy for CHIB. Alright, the next resistance will be here. If you enter in a breakout, that should be good risk to reward ratio. I'd say yes, buy CHIB on a breakout. Good pick, G. Peter. Amazing. Antayin nyo mo lang ang breakout. Ar Arvik de los Santos, sir, good morning. TBGI po. TBGI, lumipad na po yan. Uh, rec I cannot remember when I recommended TBGI. I believe it was here, right? Diba? Nag-usap tayo about TBGI. I recommended it here because of the divergence right here. What date was that? 521. 521, no, no. 522. For sure, I did recommend that 522. I can't, re I can't remember lang. Alright. One moment, please. Alright, so TBGI ngayon, guys, wala po tayong position dyan. Again, we are position traders. Wag po dyan sa taas. Okay? Um, let me see. Five twenty two. Was that five twenty two? Ah, five twenty three. So the next day ko yan I recommend five twenty three. Right here. Ayon. <laughs> so here, um, recommended TBGI on that date. That is the best entry point. Um, so far so good to TBGI. Congratulations sa mga pumasok. That's massive win from that entry point to that. That's forty percent. Right now, we're out of position. Wala na po tayo sa position jan. So stay away from it. Even though there is good volume there, that doesn't mean it is still gonna go up. And number two, we are position traders. Guys, we are position traders. We don't have a position there. Always ask yourself, ano bang position ko dito? Where is my cut loss? Where is in everything? If you cannot answer that, then you don't have a position there. Okay? Wait for a pullback and bounce for TBGI. Masyado na po malayo yan. Jose Gonzalez, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights, uh, insights po. Um, kay Lopez, right now I'm shaky with Lopez and ABS-CBN because of the, uh, because of the franchise. And ayun nga nagdrop nga because of that, right? <coughs> Excuse me. There's bad news kasi sa um ABS-CBN right now, so that's why I don't want to recommend ABS and Lopez. There it is, the gap downs. Uh, iniwasan natin yan, I told you, the past few days, it was like ABS, um, especially because of the franchise holdings sa, sa, sa Congress, that's gonna, that, that just put ABS-CBN on, uh, on rocky position. So, stay away lang muna for now, unless we hear a good news. Pag nagka-good news kay ABS-CBN, Bilhin nyo na kaagad si Lopez at si ABS-CBN. That's what I can tell for sure. Once uh, Congress 
renews their franchise, bilhin nyo na kaagad. I tell you, that's gonna be a good entry point. For now, wala pa, so amang lang. Okay, red here, buying power. That's gonna, cl that's gonna climb. Good morning, sir. Downturn na po ba si SEC? Let's check out SEC. After this, I'm gonna go to my picks. It's 907. Hindi ko pa nababasa ang picks ko. Um, halo eh. It's already starting to do sideways trend even, right? Um, you can also look at the MA20. Kung saan papunta ang MA20, yung linya na yan, yun po yung trend niya. Most probably. Right now, MA20 is now shooting sideways. So, meaning sideways trend na po siya. Tapos na po ang downtrend ni SEC. Right? And if this breaks out the... If this breaks out the... Ano, meron kasi support dito eh. If this, this breaks out from that resistance, then that is a uh, confirmation na magsa sideways trend na siya. So, for now, the support is holding strong. <clears throat> Abang natin ng breakout to know if ever tapos na yung trend niya. Aniline, how can we... How can we register to the newsletter if we don't have an eToro account yet? Uh, I strongly recommend you create an eToro account because the majority of my newsletter is in the international market. So, yeah, I recommend you create an eToro account. guys, speaking of eToro, um, if you plan to create one, please make sure you use my link. Right? Please make sure you use my link because malaking tulong po yan sa channel na ito para makapagpatuloy tayo. Okay? Um, eToro, we have positions right now kay eToro. If you wanna trade it yourself, you can. Or you can copy trade me or other traders out there. There are so many good traders out there you can copy. So far, so good. Um, malit pa naman yung negative sa other positions natin. I still think these positions are gonna go up. We're playing at the supports level. Support levels pa rin at this point. So, I think these are still gonna go up, not gas and GWPH. So I'm still holding on to them. But you can trade trade on your own. I recommend you guys trade on your own in the international market. Okay, matakot. Hindi kayo natatakot sa PSE, dun pa kaya sa international market na napakagad na ng volume. The reason why it's really hard to trade in the PSE is because napakalit ng volume sa PSE. Since maliit ang volume, we're greatly affected by hypes, yung mga sudden burst ng mga whales, yung malaking pera papasukin, para ma-hype yung stock at lumilipad na, bebentahan kayo, hindi mangyayari sa international market. Technical analysis works well in the international market because of the volume. Sana in the future, PSE becomes that. But it's really hard for PSE right now. That's why I am recommending you guys trade in the international market. <clears throat> STV Trader, ISM, nagpo-pullback pa. So I'm gonna go to my picks now. Let me just go full screen. Ito po ang mga picks ko. I added MRSGI. I forgot who mentioned that earlier. But kudos to that guy. As, uh, MRSGI is up there. First pick for today is Primex. FDC. Um, hindi, hindi, hindi first pick yan. Unahin ko lang paborito kong, ano, ah, paborito kong recommendation ngayon. RWM. This will be my favorite pick for today. <coughs> Why? This is a bottom pick. Downtrend. Pababa yung support niya. But RSI. Look at RSI already. That's already going up. That's bullish signals right there. And there's good volume pickup on the new support it's forming. Right? That's the new support for RWM. It's holding on to that level by RWM. Right? This is a good company. I'd say it's already a buy. Okay? Umabot po siya sa RSI 20. That's already a very healthy position for RWM. Bilhin niyo rin po yan. Right? Sayang po. Very low risk. Good company. RWM. Huwag po sasayangin yung position, right? Primex, PRMX, um, Primex hit this support three times already. So, this is a solid support already for Primex. I'd say yes, this is already a buy for Primex. And look at the RSI on that support. RSI showing us momentum on those supports, meaning mas maganda na po ang position. These are healthier positions now compared to these previous ones na medyo volatile pa sa pababa, right? Um, the sellers have settled down already. Um, konti na lang po ang seller and we are starting to get momentum on Primex. So, that's an entry point. That's a very good support for Primex. Low risk position. That's why I'm recommending that today. FDC. Si FDC, again, look at the MA20. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Where is the MA20 looking at? Whenever MA20 starts to look up, it goes up. Whenever MA20 starts to look down, it go goes down. MA20 starting to look up already. You know where this is going, most probably, right? Whenever MA20 starts to go up, it is gonna go up. 
not 100%, but that is also one way to use MA20. That's why I love MA20. Starting to look up already, and we have good price action for MA20, uh, for, for this stock. I'd say yes, use this as your support, 13 point, and 13 point 80 is the support for FDC. But then again, this is already starting to look up. Yes, FDC is a buy for me. Maliit ang, uh, maliit ang risk. Next is Tel. Tel, after this gap down, starting to form a support. And there's a good spike of volume on that green, tiny green bar right there. That means this support has been holding on and that just confirmed a good support. It's a buy for me. Low risk position. 1, 2, 3, 1 is still very cheap for PLDT. I'd say yes, that's a buy. In case mali tayo, please cut your losses negative 3 below that support. Okay? These are not predictions. These are recommendations since these are very low risk and it's been giving us uh, buy signals. And then lastly, MRSGI. We talked about this already earlier, but as a, uh, as a review, um, we're already seeing bullish movements, um, bullish divergence for MRSGI. I think this is going to be a good solid support for MSGI. Buy as long as that support holds for MSGI. Those are my picks for today. Um, uh, not sure if naaba ni Ask Annie if dili ma renew franchise sa ABS CBN. If hindi ma renew ang franchise sa ABS CBN, mag translator ako ngayon. Ano mangyayari sa stocks? Mauli ba sa shareholder ang, at current price? Is, so, soli ba sa shareholders at current price? No po. Even if the franchise is, um, has been held um, by the Congress at, at, in, and it will not renew, the company overall as a, uh, as a public entity still has their stocks on the public, on the public. There is no order that they'll be buying it back. There's no reason for PLDT to buy back the stock when they know it's going to go down. Right? They're going to share the, you invested with ABS, you're going to share the risk with ABS-CBN. That's the, that's the trade-off. And if ever hindi mo matutuloy yung franchise nila, sadly, ABS-CBN is going to, stocks is going to go down. Maybe they can recover through digital, uh, through the digital media, but that's going to take a very big toll on ABS-CBN. Ang pinakamalakas nila kasi is in, uh, TV, di ba? Sa mga probinsya and everything. In sa probinsya, hirap po sa online ang probinsya. Kung sa online na sila manonood ng probinsyano, hirap po yan. And they'll just rather watch GMA, di ba? Kung wala sa ABS-CBN. Kaysa maggastos pa sila ng data. So that's sad for ABS-CBN. Alright, um, let's go back to the comments. Aniline, um, yes, you can register to the newsletter, but I recommend you create an Etor account. Sir ISM from SDV Trader, nagpo-pullback pa po yan. Anilin, DMW, Sir, and EEI. DMW, good stock, good company. So far, so good. If this breaks out, yeah, DMW will be an entry, uh, will be a good buy, right? Pag nag-break out yan, EEI, kamusta natin si EEI, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay EEI. We talked about EEI on this pullback right here. That was my recommendation right there. And lumipad na siya hanggang, hanggang ngayon. And then wala pang bonggang pullback. I think it's gonna do a pullback anytime soon. Um, I'm, uh, what they call this, uh, Bollinger Bands is starting to constrict. So volatility is lesser this time. I think it's gonna do a solid pullback. So bangan ng natin. Dominic Corpus sa Itoro, ba may hawak akong stocks na 52-week low, middle stock at high stock? Sa Itoro, may mga hawak akong stocks na 52-week low, middle stocks and high stocks. Um, I'm not sure what your question is, Dominic. Can you please clarify that? Hopefully, maabutan ba natin? Jojo Hilvano, morning coach, profit taking lang ba yung ISM? Yes, definitely. If I was trading ISM, I'd already take profits from ISM. Laki na nakita nun, di ba? Um, so many of my followers have been nakambodega kay ISM at that level. So let's say this is your average right here at this support. That's already 42% gains. No reason why I won't take profits in that if I'm, a, if I'm trading it. Diba? That's already a good climb for the stock. Take profits na, definitely. There's no bad news in stock. Even it, if it even climbed up yesterday. And naka take profits lang. Let's see if it will settle down. Taking profits will settle down. At manaig yung mga investors. Whenever mananaig yung investors, aakyat pa po yan. 
But wag po natin pangungunahan ang market, okay? Swiss Miss, good morning Sir Ledge. Nakabili po ako ng 225k tags. Salamat po sa reko, sir. Uy, congratulations. I did recommend tags yesterday. So, if nakapasok ka at 222, that's amazing entry. That's a very good entry. Congratulations, di ba? Amazing. Enjoy your earnings. At um, hopefully, magtuloy-tuloy. Si Tugs. Joel, is this Joel Ligares? Thank you so much for the super chat. Malaking tulong po yan. Greatly appreciated. Guys, if you like the contents, if you like the discussion, if you want to support the channel, um, para po mapatuloy natin itong programang ito, you can always donate to the channel by clicking on the super chat button. Ito po yung dollar signal sa katabi ng smiley sa chat room natin. You can donate through that. Hopefully, you can. Um, and that will be a great help for the channel. Right? Jose Gonzalez, uh, insights po kay Lopez. Uh, babagsak pa po yan. So, stay away from it for now. Dominic Corpus, anong klaseng trader po ako, sir? Um, if you're holding 52-week low, middle stock at high stock, anong klaseng trader? <laughs> I don't... I don't think it, you, you can answer it that way. Dominic, send me a message to Financial Freedom 101, right, on my Facebook page. Uh, I'll help you with that, right? Hopefully, you guys can join the seminar. I have um, a seminar in Davao, still finalizing the venue. Hirap po kami sa venue sa Davao kasi konti lang pala ng magandang venue dyan. But still, hopefully, it will push through uh, July 13, 14. Was that 14? A tentative date for the uh da just July 13 for Davao. Um hopefully matuloy Rome. Rome Italy August um tentative date is August July August August 4 po, right? Tentative date for Rome Italy. Sa mga venues na uh, sa, may, sa mga lugar na hindi ko pa po mapupuntahan, you have the option to access a replay of my seminars sa replay videos po niya. Send me a message. You will learn a lot there. Mas systematic po doon. Step by step po ang pag-aaralan nyo. Hindi katulad nitong daily grind na um, tigi-tigi yung learnings ninyo. Right? It's gonna be hard for you to really have a solid base in trading. Uh, in your trading skills. If ganitong tigi-tigi lang ang ma nakukuha ninyo. Right? Yes, you can learn for free. Yes, you can. But you have to understand the learning curve, the time you need to put in learning in the stock market. The rich people cannot afford that time. What they usually do is get consultants or read books. I don't have a book, but I have seminars. You can do that to shorten your learning curve if you really want to, if you're serious in learning the stock market. Right? Join the seminars. And if you want access to the replays, send me a message so I can give you the details for that. Observer Tan, Sir Insights po kay PIP, please. Nine, time check, it's 9.20. Bilis ng oras. Akala ko maiksilan tayo ngayon. PIP, si PIP nag-bounce to eh. Right? It's doing a pullback right now. Let's see what will happen. Well, PIP is MA20 starting to look up. So, this is something good. Let's see if it will bounce anytime soon. Pag nag-bounce yan, maybe, most probably, it's a good entry point. Maganda naman yung spike ng volume ni PIP. Right? Observer Tan, abang lang ng bounce, okay? Uh, Nikos Bernardino, bilisan ko lang to guys. It's all, we only have 5 minutes left. NRCP, uh, NRCP, a pull back pa. It broke MA20 but starting to form a support right here. Maybe this is will, this will be the next support of NRCP. Um, 1, 2, 3, I think that's already good. Um, bias loss the support holds for NRCP. Badong RZ, sir, good day. Good day then. Um, Rex Lopez uh, gave me information about the Warriors. I think that's a link. Uh, Wealth Gainer, good morning, Coach. Pasilip si Ani and NRCP. Si Ani, well, I mean, Ani, daan na natin. Antay lang ng breakout kay Ani. That's the best recommendation ko kay Ani. Antay lang ng breakout to know for sure if akat, akyat pa siya. At least may confirmation tayo. NRCP, we just talked about it. Rusil Salgado, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights on Meg and Phoenix for long term. Phoenix, uh, yeah, I can recommend Phoenix for long term. Meg. Uh, si Meg naman, yes, definitely one of the good blue chips at, up here. Uy, nag-pullback, nag-bounce na pala si Meg. Ah. This might be a good entry point for Meg. Maganda naman yung momentum ni Meg. 
Yeah, guys, check nyo si Meg. Baka ito na yung support, ay, ito na yung bounce niya. Baka magtuloy-tuloy yan today. Pwede nyo pong pasukin pag may confirmation. Um, but for Meg, yes, it's a good for it's good for long term. Si Phoenix, um, kind of shaky with this stock for long term. Siguro mid to long term lang. Uh, mid term, right? Uh, definitely. Abang lang ng breakout if you wanna enter Phoenix, okay? Uh, breakout will be the next entry point. Um, si Benji, sir, any insights on SRDC? Oy, nag-lift kahapon, di ba? Si SRDC. Uh, wala pa rin. Um, akala ko matatrade na kahapon. I haven't been updated with SRDC. But definitely, if the company is doing well the past few days, I haven't been monitoring the I haven't been monitoring the fundamentals of SRDC. Kamusta na yung galaw nila the past few years? If maganda naman, then most definitely, it might rocket up and pwede nyo pong i-momentum trade yan. Depende po anong galaw ng market today. Okay, Nikos Bernardino, wag nyo pong huhulaan saan paggagalaw ang market. Let it show you where it is going before you wanna enter and ride the momentum. Bogart Skywalker, star, salamat sa IDC, Sir Lloyd. You're welcome. Um, ISM po from Firlim, GSMI, masyadong mataas na po si GSMI. GSMI, guys, favorite composition is the MA20. This is the entry point, and this just showed you why MA20 is very beautiful. Where did it bounce MA20? Right now, it's already too high. Abangan na lang natin ang pullback. If hindi tayo bigyan ng pullback, then let it go. Gabstaz, IRC po. Si IRC naman. Right, IRC recommended it yesterday. Already starting to go up. Not sure if pwede pa today. Yesterday was the best entry point. But if kaya pa po na risk tolerance niyo, why not? It's still on a good uptrend right there, si IRC. So yeah. Kahapon po yan dapat. Good entry po ba sa ISM, sir? Wag muna, wala pang bounce. Emily Goats, I bought ISM at 8, then add around 7, then 6.30, then all in ako sa 5.80, at nag-average cost ngayon is 6.10. At ngayon, green ang portfolio ko kay ISM at MPI. Thank you for your support, sir. You're welcome, Emily. Alright, patience is a very good virtue here in the in the stock market. You just have to know who you are. If you know that you're an investor, then you know what to do. Diba? If you're a trader, then you know what to do. It's really important to know who you are. Emily knows she is an investor in ISM and MPI. Kaya po nag-average, average down siya. And it is rewarding him in return now. Diba? Congratulations, Emily. Kay MPI din. At Benoit, nakapasa ko kahapon, sir, ATN. Food, thank you sa Recos. Congratulations sa mga pumasok sa recommendations ko kahapon. Halos nag, uh, halos nag-bounce yung lahat ng mga... Um, na recommend ko. Hopefully, it continues. Andrew Prang, we will be all rich in 10 years. ISM at 300 pesos per share. Huwag <laughs> niyo pong pangunahan ng market. I don't know if it is gonna hit that price. Winston Asinto, sir, any inputs on Uber? Um, international market, I don't think we have time for that anymore. Last lang, si sir, sir, si P. Gold. P. Gold. Alright, again, thank you so much, Joel, sa super chat. P. Gold, um, most probably, it will hit, hit the support. Let's see if it creates a support, confirms a support before you want to recommend pure gold. But definitely, it's going to be a buy if ever gumawa siya ng support. Feli Apaya, good morning, Sir Lloyd, Miss Apple, Laika. Good morning. Pasilip po, EW. Uh, last two, okay? EW, nag-fail sa ME20 eh, but so far, so good. Okay pa rin naman. Let's see it will, if it will sustain. Mahirap siya sabihin right now because we have a mix, uh, we have a mix signal right here. Diba? May nakikita tayong pababa na resistance. So, best entry is will be a breakout na lang for EW. If it breaks out, then try it. Latigo Rapper, good morning Sir Lloyd. Kabalik, nagigil ko paminaw. Asa nindot na stock run Toronto or GSW? <laughs> GSW ako ngayon. It's uh, the narrative of the story is very good. They're the underdog right now. I love underdogs. Uh, Sir Lloyd, ano po yung gamit mo indicator sa candle? Anong gamit ko indicator sa candle? I use Bollinger Bands. Ranulfo Fersas, Magsugo na Dula, NBA Coach. Alright? So, I guess that's it for today. Yun lang muna. It's already 9.26. That's it for today, guys. Um, Over the weekend, I'm gonna be very busy. So, if you have any messages, baka hindi ko masagot, I'll do my best to answer. Um, I'll be in Mindanao for the uh, construction of the fish cages. Salamat po sa mga tumulong sa mga isla.org. Um, I'll see you Monday. It's a weekend. So, ingat sa market. If your stocks are in resistances and then may makita kayong mga weakness na medyo pumupulat, nahihirapan, lumabas, 
and break out. Sell half of it, please, right? Don't be greedy with your gains. If you're already gaining, take portion of it. It will ease out your emotions. Mawawala po yung trilling niyan. Sa NBA lang trilling ngayon. Okay? I'll see you Monday. Hopefully, I'll be back on Monday. I'll give you an update, guys. Let's get rich together. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.